and uh, welcome to a new video. Well, uh, this video is based on high school. Here's a few things I wanted to talk talked about talk to you about about high school. School. Uh, this I am on my last year of high school. I mean, I'm officially a senior year, and uh, not to mention this. This is gonna be my very last between school summer before I actually get out for the rest of my life. So I'm actually gonna miss my school a lot. I'm gonna miss my friends. But uh, on the ups out, I'll be able to, after I'm out of high school, I'll be able to go out and get a job and start my own life. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, this video is based, based on what it's like in high school. So what you wanna be aware of is what is people is mostly people, you know, mostly the students. Because the students are the ones that are really, some of them are egotistical, some of them are like, bro, like, ferocious, you know what I mean? Like, like not like animal ferocious, but like, um, egotistical ferocious. I mean, they take themselves as being a really like badass or something like that as a take themselves to be like, oh yeah, I'm better than everybody. I deserve to do everything better than you guys do. And stuff like that. Well, you see, uh, some people intend to take their ego, their egos way too far. Like, for instance, the seniors. The seniors intend to, like, you know, use their, like, say that they're smarter than you, but really when they're not. Now, sometimes, you know, when they usually try to pass their grades, they do something called winging it. And basically, winging it is when they uh, well, I'm not really sure how they do it exactly, but it's, it's actually quite effective if you think about it. I mean, I've had a hard time trying to get my grades ready, ready for me to get a, get to a senior. I mean, honestly, I really didn't think I'd make it this far, believe me. Uh, another thing, another thing is mostly the girls. You want to keep a lookout for the girls. Cause some of them, cause some of them, you know, really know how to get into into somebody's head. They really can get under your skin, literally. Like uh, they say, they say, you know, hey, you're just. They say, they say the boys like sometimes. Oh, you're just mad because you can You don't have me. You're just mad because you can't get any pussy. You're just mad because you can't get any ass or anything like that. Like many girls use that to their advantage they use their bodies their looks their style and stuff like that it's just it's just very very annoying and very very sad like they use like their personality mostly their bodies just as a weapon towards guys and girls usually with the way it is with girls though go is they keep they show off to these other girls and they they're be like oh god I'm much more hotter than you you're never gonna get a boyfriend and I'm like, they're like, like, how the hell would you know if you're not going to get a boyfriend or not? I mean, many people th doubted that I would ever get a girlfriend, but I have one right now, and I'm very glad I'm with her. And people even make fun of me for being with her because everybody talks about how weird she is, but you know what? I don't care about that. I love her just the way she is, and that's the way people should accept it. I don't care if I get made up fun of in the hallways or in the classroom or whatever. Uh, or even... Or even, even one of my videos, like the "I Hate Evelyn" video, you know, many people really called me out on it, and I was like, eh, "Whatever, whatever, that's your comments, and I, you expressed how you felt, I expressed how I felt. That's the way it is. It's called freedom of speech, and that's the way it's gonna handle. Mostly, most of the time in uh, high school." A school is mostly also the teachers. The teachers usually some t sometimes don't even know what they're talking about, or some don't even well, no want to actually teach the students at all. Mostly because some of them are under, are underpaid. I mean, I mean, you know that. Hopefully, whoever watches this video does. But mostly, some of the times, sometimes uh, in high school, the old teachers intend to take their power to the limit. Like for instance, principals. Principals. Principals basically uh, find any way they can and to bend the rules in the school, especially the, the assistant principals, like like these new stupid kind of like a f you know like clothing policies, like leggings. Like they, my school tried to ban leggings since this new assistant principal came along, 
and the rule was never enforced. I mean, they could still wear leggings. Things they just can't see them with the butt showing. I mean, that what the hell does that does that even even do? I mean, you're just gonna you're just gonna set a bad example for that school. Yeah, I mean, some teachers think they're doing the right thing, but they really they they don't. They don't know what they're doing at all. Reason why is because they're power hungry and power crazy. It affects it affects the entire school and it really gets under under the student's skin. I mean, uh, back when I was in middle school, my on my all three years of my middle school, we had this lame lame color code. You were only allowed to wear white, black, and red. Red shirts and black and tan pants, and that's all you could wear. If you didn't wear it, you had to go straight home or get something out of the clo out of the school closet. Basically, the way the way with high school works is, you know, you know, you can sometimes bend the rules, but you really can't get away with it. It's just hard enough trying to not get caught by the by the you know that evil teacher, you know, the evil one. The evil teacher basically is like this like this one who like is like fully 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 pledged to the school faculty and the school rules and the school rules rules will be enforced as long as that evil one's right there the one you will what you need to focus on is getting the good teacher you know don't focus on the easy class focus on the easy teacher find mr. easy a easy a a plus boom you're 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 good you're good. I mean, I've had a few teachers that have actually helped me a lot, and uh, basically they've, they've gotten to me where I, where I am right now. Like most of the stuff, most of the time, it's some people think think like, oh god, if you hang out with this person, you're just gonna lose lose what you have for the rest of your life, and that's just absolute bull crap. That's that that's not absolutely true. Many people think that uh that. The way the person looks like in their high school, like the way they're dressed, that is the sign of them not being someone good. I mean, some teachers and students take that the wrong way, and they take it way too far. I mean, it's basically kind of like religion. You don't want to take it too far. If you don't, if you don't want to know, want to see more about religion, go to my channel and and look for my YouTube YouTube uh, video called Religion. Religion is it's one of my rants. <laughs> I admit, I rant. Um, People intend to take these rules way too far, and they, it just needs to stop happening. I mean, this is very, very agitating and aggravating. I mean, they don't know what they're doing, but they keep doing it anyway. I mean, if the wrong person comes by, the school is going to turn into a freaking prison, and people and the students are eventually going to riot. And when they do, they'll have no choice but to twist the rules up. And they won't blame the students; they'll blame the principal. Because they're the one, they're the one in charge of the school, and if they don't do it right, they're the ones gonna get get their asses handed to them by the faculty, not the students. I mean, sure they might get suspended, like oh yeah, yeah. Let me tell you this: in my school, well, when this new assistant principal came along, on she started enforcing rules already when she got there. Already when she got there, and. The most rule when I told you earlier was about the leggings rule. She tried to enforce that law where you couldn't wear leggings at all. And a few of my girls, girls in my school, well not my girls, a few girls, I mean, <laughs> sorry, I'm not, I am a pimp. Uh, a few girls that are in this school, they only wear leggings. Like, they don't have any other kind of pants. Like this one girl I, girl I know, uh, she, all she owns is leggings and she can't handle any kind of real pants because, I don't know, it hurts, hurts her or something like that, but... It, it really pissed her off. Like, we first heard about this when I was in my cooking class. Class, hell, even the teacher was disagreeing with that role. I mean, it was surprising to me. But you'll see, you'll see that teachers don't really always agree on what the, you know, the faculty agree on. Some teachers, if they're, if they're good, they'll actually agree with the student and what they're saying. I mean, that's just, that's just taking your power way too long. I mean, for you, can't wear leggings, leggings in school. I mean, people wear that kind of crap all the time. Not to mention, when that rule was enforced, they sent home like almost, almost like 45 girls just for wearing the leggings. And you can imagine me, parents were pissed about that. Me, personally, uh, no, I don't wear that kind of stuff. I'm more of a shorts and jeans type of guy. You know, like camo and stuff like that. But, uh, well guys, 
those are my thoughts for high school. Like a, like to take these, take this info and learn and learn about it. But don't take it too far. Believe me, do not take this too far. You do not want to end up like the faculty, and especially at the school I go to. Like a lot of schools around here, they take their rules was way too far. Just like, just like religious people take their religion way too far, and that's not fair. It's just not fair. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy. Guys, enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yo, know, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Later, dudes.